Now let's discuss the second theorem of permutation and the statement is saying something like this the number of permutations of n different objects keep in mind taken r at a time where repetition is allowed wow repetition is allowed is n to the power r all right repetition is allowed and is n to the power we need to discuss on this topic hmm so uh so far you know we learn when the repetition is not allowed like we just learn a formula uh, permutation of n object uh, r taken at a time when repetition is not allowed is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and the same thing we learn uh, by the fundamental th principle of counting also all right let me give you an example that will be more better way to understand for a while let's say i have a word um, god g o d all right g o d god i have and i want to make a two letter word all right and with meaning without meaning i don't care but i just want to make uh, any word that becomes any any code or whatever it makes uh, th that is made with two letters all right so i'm just trying to fill the first position now to fill the first position i can uh, write here g even i can select o even i can write the letter d so i have how many options one two three so i can fill the first position by three uh, different ways or uh, whatever i wish but once I will fill this position, then I will get locked. Uh, I mean, uh, once uh, once I will write one letter, I cannot repeat the same letter once again. So let's say I write here uh, G again, right? Just, just just for for example, I write here G, all right? So this is now dead. I cannot repeat the same thing again here. So I have now two words to select for a single position. So I have two options. I can write either O or d so i have two options so it means three times two that is six ways i have six ways of writing g o and d in two different places without repetition but what happens if repetition is allowed if repetition is allowed then uh in the first position we can select anyone you know we can select uh, g also we can select o also we can select d also so for a while let's say again i write g here in the first position since repetition is allowed means i can write g again all right O and D are completely fresh. So I can write G again, I can write O, I can write D again. I have three options to fill the second position. So again, this I can write uh, in a three different way. All right. So three times three, that is now it's going to be nine. Okay. So I have total, total words I do have. That's that is that is that we generally say N. And in how many places we fill? We fill in two places that we say generally R. So N to the power R, that is three to the power two that is 9 always keep in mind this is the formula right that's what uh, I was just trying to say here right let me give you one more example let's have a few digits here let's say 1 I have 2 I have 3 I have 6 all right so I have here four digits and I want to make a three digit number keep in mind I want to make three digit number from this four digit number okay so when the repetition is not allowed keep in mind that here repetition is allowed but I'm saying when repetition is not allowed I can write here 1 I can write here 2, I can write here 3, I can write here 6. So I have here 4 options to choose. So once I will write here, one, any one of them will get dead, whatever I will write here. All right? And then I will have 3 options, 1, 2, 3 to fill the second position. So I have 3 options and next time I will have 2 options. So 4 times 3 times 2, that is 24 way. So I have 24 way of arranging, uh, of writing 3 digit later without repetition from these 4 digits. Okay. But now what if we have uh, uh, option to repeat the digit that we write okay so when repetition is allowed everybody know that the first position can be filled with any of these four and uh, let's say for a while I write here one in the first position so this is dead no repetition is allowed we can again write this one so in this position also we have option one option two option three option six so again this can be uh, written by four ways and the similarly third one also can be written by any of these four so four times four times four so again what I mean to say I have here four numbers to write in three different places alright this is working as n and three different places that is r equals to 3 so 4 times 4 times 4 that I can write 4 to the power 3 that is uh, 64 so it means n to the power r again alright so this is what I was trying to say you the number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time where repetition is allowed is n to the power r keep in mind alright so remember this formula this is going to be very very useful in further uh, calculations alright so I'll see you guys in the next video till the time please 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 read this video and subscribe my channel to motivate me